Aberdeen Preach and Fresh and Fit are back at war again. And that's what we're talking about. We're going to talk about what Aberdeen Preach has to say about the situation. We're going to talk about what Fresh and Fit has to say about the situation. But most importantly, we're going to talk about what this situation is really about. It's what I don't see anybody else talking about. I don't see anybody else accurately identifying what this is really being caused by all this time later. Because remember, it's been years. It's been years since this beef began. And we're going to get to the heart of it. I want to tell you a quick story about second grade. My best friend had a best friend named Thomas, and there was a girl named Lori who was, everybody loved Lori. She was popular, smart, and she was our friend as well. She was cool with us as well. But one day, a new girl comes to the school, comes to our class, and her and Thomas start going out. You know, A little bit after that, Thomas just stops talking to me. And I'm bugging, trying to figure out what's happening. And every time I try to talk to him, he just blows me off. So I wind up talking to his girlfriend, and I'm like, hey, can you try to figure out what's going on and smooth things over between us? Because for some reason, he just stopped talking to me. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And so some time goes by and I he's still not talking to me. So I go up to him and say, hey, hey, what, what's wrong? What's the problem between us? And he goes, oh, well, since you don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you either. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I, I, she, she told me what you said. I'm like, who? He said, my, gir my girlfriend. He points to his girlfriend. And so I said, no, you miss. I said, call over here. So she comes over. I said, didn't I ask you to, to smooth things over between us? Because I'm trying to figure out, I, I, you know, we're best friends. I want to still be friends. And she goes, no, you never said that. And now my mind is blown. And Lori, who happens to be a few feet away, is watching this whole thing. Mind you, Lori was actually there when I asked Thomas's girlfriend, you know, to smooth things over between us. So now Lori decides to step in. Lori steps in and says, she's lying. <laughs> she's lying. I was there when Aaron asked her to, to smooth things over between you. And she said, oh, yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll figure out what's going on because you're good friends. I don't know what, what's going on. And so now we all stop and we look at her. Suffice to say, Thomas and her relationship didn't last too much longer. But back to the Aaron Preach thing. And it'll become clear why I, I told the story in a little bit. So Abba went on Fresh and Fit and Myron had already said something about Abba being blue pill and Abba confronted him straightforward said, hey, why do you think, what, why'd you say I was blue pill? And Fit seemed to be hemming and hawing and now you may say you don't think Fit was, uh, Myron was scared of Abba. I want to keep in mind at the time that this happens, this is before the million plus subscribers that Fresh and Fit currently has. Aber and Preach, they've got over a million subscribers. Fresh and Fit, they do not. They, In fact, they didn't even have 400,000 subscribers at that time. So I, I believe at that time they've got upwards of 300,000 subscribers. But they have this discussion. Then they, they Aber leaves. Sometime later, Aber and Preach do a video on Fresh and Fit and talking about how their views are, they disagree with their views and they sound ridiculous. And it's primarily about, you know, paying for sex. And they're like, wait a minute, but how can you say that paying for sex is bad, but you're on sugar daddy websites? Additionally, at the time, there's a young woman who decides to say some things about Fresh and Fit. And you may think I'm talking about the white chick that accused Fresh of trying to, hey, if you don't sleep with me, you can't be on the show. But we're, not, we're not talking about that one just yet. I'm actually talking about Nina Unrated. You see, Nina Unrated was somebody that had done Fresh and Fit's show and had some interaction. And at some point, things fell apart and she starts exposing them. Mind you, Nina Unrated had also previously had some interaction with Aaron Preach. That's a part of the story that it seems everybody seems to have forgotten. So I don't know how friendly they were, but that automatically caught my eye. The fact that wait a minute, if you are if you are potentially friendly with Nina and Rated and she's having beef with them, that could be a spark to why you start looking at them a certain type of way. But let's fast forward. Uh, then the everything comes out, a bunch of other stuff comes out because Nina and Rated exposes how Fresh and Fit were talking shit about a lot of people, including Kevin Samuels at the time. So Kevin Samuels had had gone on Fresh and Fit, had given a bunch of shine to Fresh and Fit, and 
apparently they were talking behind his back saying he was gay um, and, and, and mocking him and being disrespectful about him behind the scenes. This leads to a whole beef where Fresh and Fit are doing a stream and they start calling out Abra and Preach. They're, they're talking about uh, Preach's wife. They talk about Haiti. You know, they just go in. They go in. And they and at one point they even say, hey, and yeah, and we could fight. And we could, yeah, we could, we could do this in, in the ring. We could, we could throw hands. And then we move on to how Abra and Preach respond. And Preach, much to the surprise of Fresh and Fit, <laughs> says, okay, let's do it. Let's fight. I'm going to be in the States. <laughs> I'm going to be in the States next week. And we can do this in the boxing ring. First, I take one of you. And then, first, I whip one of you's ass. Then I whip the other one's ass. We go in the ring and get this done. Make sure it's nice and sanctioned. Boom. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do this in the ring. We're not going to do this in the streets. But it's a deal. Let's go. That wasn't the, ex that wasn't the answer they were expecting. <laughs> And fresh and fit, then say, "Hey, we, are, we things got out of hand, you know. We 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 shouldn't have went there, and so you know we, we're we're not trying to get into the ring and box people. It it shouldn't go there. Now that's where the 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 challenges. I'm not going to call them threats. I'm going to call them challenges. They're challenges to to fight. That's where the challenges seem to end. But there was still some static. Fresh and fit, you know, they did a bunch of copyright strikes, not just against." against a bunch of creators they wind up almost losing their channel they wind up being in a position to potentially lose their channel if they didn't rescind these uh these false copyright strikes against people and that that was a horrible look for them but the interesting thing is even though their numbers had went down they they were at four, over four hundred thousand before they went down below four hundred thousand they kept grinding their numbers went back up and now they're over a million I think they're what 1.5 million and now they have issued a challenge fresh sorry myron has issued a challenge to abba to fight and he said hey listen let, let's talk face to face and if it gets down to, to, to fisticuffs it gets down to fisticuffs now i don't know why a conversation should turn to fisticuffs unless you don't have control of your emotions i if you're a grown man who operates a business you should be able to have a discussion with another grown man, and and if and if you're if you're worried that it could devolve into violence, then I would suggest having it over the year. That would be my suggestion, especially if you have a business that's making a lot of money at stake. But this is what he's done. He's he said, "Hey, let let's meet face to face. Let's do this." And I've been preached in a response video saying, "Hey, like wow, you 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 miss us and you want to get physical," and. Breach jumped in and says, hey, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Let's go. Like He's like, you, because Myron specifically calls out Abba and explicitly excludes Preach. Says, no, not Preach. I'm talking to you, Abba. <laughs> Which we can talk about that as well. But Preach says, you don't need to have a problem with me. I have a problem with you. Let's do this. Let's put on gloves. Let's get in the ring. Let's do this. Just like, just like I, just like I wanted to do it before, before you're backed out, before you're bitched up. Let's do this. But now they're going on a campaign. They did a, a live stream yesterday, roasting Avram Preach, going in on them, talking about how you know they actually provide value to to young men. They're not just a reaction channel, just talking talking mess about people. They, they're talking about how the Abra and Preach they just displayed no loyalty, no loyalty. They weren't loyal. They 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 just they turned on them for no reason instead of instead of being loyal friends as fresh and fit were. This is fresh and fit's perspective. They're saying that hey, you weren't loyal like us. That's why we have beef. Abba was like loyal, bitch. I, I met we met one time. I did your show one time. We weren't friends. We would like I I went on your show, did your show. We had a conversation, and then I went back and I I continued to do my content as. As I do my content, I didn't owe you anything. And yes, since then, Abba and Preach have covered Fresh and Fit's content several times, including nonsense that Charleston White has said and that Abba and Preach have not pushed back on. In some cases, laughing about, um, in some cases, seeming to co-sign. But they're like, there's, there's no loyalty isn't even an issue. Like, what are y'all talking about? And so Abba and Preach just decided... Okay, is this because we've been roasting the red pill lately? 
because they have been going on they have been going in on several red pill figures including my life dating most recently who <laughs> who said some really stupid things about about uh, domestic abuse domestic violence like yeah but they've been calling them out and they're like okay that's why they're coming at us because we've been making the red pill look really stupid and fresh and fit are saying no this is because you're disloyal you don't stand for anything you're you're not helping and bringing value to men like we're helping people that's what this is about but i'm like and i guarantee you that a bunch of y'all out there like but why now why now why all of these years later why two why two years later are, is this conversation happening when like it could have been it could have continued and or be dealt with like especially if you you want to get in the ring it could have been dealt with two years ago why is this happening now because somebody is behind the scenes. And this is where my story comes in. See, you may have thought my story, you know, talking about a female getting in, in the mix and tossing things up may have been referring uh, to Nina Unrated. And while I do think she may have had some influence in it, it appears that what she said was actually true. It appears that what she said about them talking about, because when she, she came out with them, when they did their receipt show, <laughs> I don't know if you remember. I remember I watched, I was... I watched like four hours of that receipt show and the receipts that they provided were the receipts that the women <laughs> that were accusing them of fuck shit had provided. So it wasn't even their receipts. They just rehashed other people's receipts against them and tried to act like it made them look good. Like when the, the white chick, um, the Anna, Anna Quinn, the, the fitness chick, when she put aside her receipts about, you know, him, trying to leverage the, the the show well yeah if you don't come on the show well if you don't if you don't have sex with me you can't come on the show and he said well no, i'm just being upfront no he wasn't being upfront because he came at her on a business tip his first interaction his first communication to her was about business would you like to collaborate not would you like to date me not would you like to go out with me not would you like to have sex with me that would have been forthcoming now would you have gotten a response i don't know that's between that, that that's something that Anna Quinn Fitness knows whether or not she would have responded to you just DMing her. Hey, do you want to have sex with me? That that that's what she would she would know about that. You approached her on a business tip, and she like she said she looked at your your channel and realized that you had a a growing audience, and she's like, okay, this could be a good business opportunity. And then you tried to leverage that to get yourself some some booty. That's what you tried to do. And then you presented these receipts. Then you represented these receipts as if somehow they make you look good. And then once again, with the stuff that Nina Unrated said, you confirmed a bunch of the stuff that Nina Unrated said about y'all and how you're talking mess about people behind the scenes. So cool. So even if Nina Unrated was the catalyst to getting Aberyn preached to like, oh, these dudes is on some other shit. She wasn't lying. So who is this story about? Well, you see, because there's another woman that's involved in this. There's another woman that is actually pulling strings. And this woman, <laughs> this woman is not being honest. This woman is not being genuine. This woman is not being truthful at all. Because if you listen to the things that Myron said, I listened to him talk about loyalty and how he provides value and how Avram Preacher just a reaction channel and, and they're, you know, they're no good. And I'm like, wait a minute. I've heard this before. I've heard these exact same talking points before. This isn't, in fact, two weeks ago, I heard those same talking points come out of just pearly things mouth. And they would never turn on their friends. It's actually amazing how that? loyal they are to their friends, fresh and fit. I'm gonna call man. They are, they are so loyal to their friends. And you know, I actually, I actually changed my mind on the whole Abba and Preach thing. I was team Abba and Preach I was in the beginning of um, the Fresh and Fit drums, but I didn't realize how they took Myron out of contact. Yeah. yeah, I gotta give Fresh and Fit credit. You know, I think they offer, you know, and this is me even conceding, like they offer more value than anyone in the space. But it's like all Avent Preach has done for years is like hit piece, hit piece, hit piece. What the fuck? Just pearly things was spouting that exact same nonsense that makes no sense because loyalty, like Abba, preached, like Abba said, we met one time. What loyalty are you talking about? This is business. 
one time. It made no sense to, to talk about loyalty. But here Myron is parroting what just Burley things said two weeks prior. And it makes no sense. Preach, Preach never has met, never, <laughs> never met them. But they're talking about loyalty. Talking about how reaction channels are don't don't, don't stand for anything. It's exactly, it's exactly what Burley Thing said. Like, really? Real like and nobody realizes that these motherfuckers are parroting exactly what she did. And so when they do their live stream roasting, guess who keeps super chatting? You guessed it, just pearly things. 150. And I'm like, huh, look at this nonsense. You see, because not only does it make, not make sense, it's not factually true because these motherfuckers have never been loyal. You saw what they what they, they were talking shit about people that they were working with. Kevin Samuels puts them on and he, he's going on, giving them shine. And <laughs> they're talking shit about him behind the scenes and then also go for his time slot. Because there was supposed to be uh, some communication amongst people within the circle or not to step on each other's toes. But they decided, no, we're going to step on your toes anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Despite the fact that this is your time slot and this has been your time slot, we want that time slot. We see how much money you're making and we want that money. Now he's going to, Myron is going to try to say, oh no, but it, but it was different because we had a different audience. Loyalty, loyalty isn't even in the conversation. That's ridiculous. But there's a lesson here. It's the lesson I learned in second grade. It's the lesson I learned about not just trusting, don't, don't like, listen, it's a lot of guys that get completely bamboozled by females. They bat their eyes, you know, flirt. They, they do whatever they need to just or, or, or act innocent and get dudes to do their bidding for them. I learned that lesson in the second grade. These motherfuckers is grown men who claim to be red pillars, who claim to be leaders of other men, and they haven't figured that out? Like, I, I, like, this is, like, you're letting this chick just, like, move you like, like a puppet. She's just pulling your strings. Like, y'all dudes can't be that fucking gullible. Like, she's just doing Jedi mind trick, and y'all just doing exactly what she told you to do. She gets on stream, says this stuff. Basically, she gets on stream, sets up the war between Fresh and Fit and Avon Preach, and Fresh and Fit, just a couple of weeks later, are all into it. Yes, let's get them. Let's go. Like y'all can't be serious. But if you agree, good. Give me a thumbs up. But if you disagree, go ahead and give me the thumbs down. But tell me, why is Myron repeating the same talking points, the same stupid, nonsensical talking points that Pearly Things spouted two weeks ago? Tell me that in the comment section. I'll see you next time.